she is pure joy. She is called Faith. She is just the light of my life. I do everything that she says. <laughs> got a cat and I feel like my life has changed. My heart is so full of cat lady energy. I just wanted to talk about how much I love my cat. <laughs> it is my pleasure to introduce you to Faith. She is a curious cat. She's a playful cat. She is allowed on all of the furniture and she's a calico cat with mostly black and ginger. She does have small white ankle socks and a white belly and a white chest. When she gets her claws stuck in the furniture, she trusts me enough to help her get out of the pickle. She loves a blanket fort and a head scratch. And she sleeps everywhere, especially in her donut bed. She doesn't mind being woken up, as long as you're going to pet her. <laughs> she is so playful. She plays with anything that moves. She is truly an all-round cat. But she's also so dog-like. She follows me everywhere. She's delighted. She like runs to the door to greet me when I come home. And I can hear her little bell tinging right now. She is coming to find me. <laughs> she is just... Ugh, here she is. Oh, she's just an absolute delight. I have the woolly jumper on so this is not perfect. But um, yeah, she like runs to find me about the house. If she hears I'm on the phone, she will come to my voice and she is just, just a delight. Um, I feel like since she has come into this house, the energy has just been uh, so zen. I had cats growing up the whole of my childhood and there was always something about coming home and having a cat being <laughs> excited to see you that just made my world. She is sniffing about. There is, there is a tiny little patch of sun she has located. Uh, what a gem. Okay, I guess the video is going in this direction now. She is just the happiest little creature I have ever met. She is so good at communicating with me. She is one of the more intelligent cats I have met and it's just a delight to be owned by her and do what she wants me to do most of the time. Ah, just everything about owning a cat is all that I wanted in life and I couldn't have a cat for years. For maybe six, yeah, for maybe six or seven years, it was not possible. Oh, I feel like she's cough a little bit. For like six or seven years, it was not possible for me to get a cat because I was in rented accommodation. My last landlord was a delight and he let me look after my parents' cats when they were on holiday. So I did have like a week here and there where I had a cat in my flat and now I have my own place. I had been on the market looking for a cat for quite some time, but I didn't want to just I the first cat that I stumbled upon and I finally got her and she is just a joy. I don't know, I've never like rooted for anything so much in my life before but I'm just her biggest cheerleader. Like she sees a little 
I don't know, you know the you know the clumps of like paper that come in the bottom of shoes? She sees one of those and she's like, it's mine, it's my game. And I'm like, yes, you play with that. I'm just rooting for her so hard so often. And yeah, I have so much love, so much cat lady energy. She's one of the more intelligent cats that I've ever met. And she also has amazing dexterity. So, so I've known a few clever cats before that can like, you know, get into things and kind of Houdini, but her dexterity is just wonderful. Whenever she sees a little thing that she wants to investigate, and she really gently paws it and, I don't know, I think this is just like cat mom and me coming out being like, oh, my cat did touch that something and wow. Oh. On cue. Perfect performing cat. She is, she is very good, I don't know, control over her tiny paws and each claw. I had a tub of sweets with the crinkly, shiny paper and foil on them. She was sitting on the table looking into this bowl of sweets and just kind of pawing them around and like figuring out what was going on. And then she picked one up with her claw, her paw. And then she jumped on the floor with it still, like, being held. And that was quite something to watch. Then she started, like, kicking it about, playing it about. Yeah, I kept an eye on that and I was like, mm, not the best toy, but also you got it yourself with your own paw. So, like, fair game, it's all yours. <laughs> Delighted by her doing anything. She eats and I'm like, oh, so precious. <laughs> this lighting is terrible, but... She chose the sunspot. What can I do? <laughs> oh, another thing that she does with her paws, which is super cute, is she will like pick up individual biscuits or chunks of like cat food and then just kind of feed them to herself. I haven't managed to video this yet. Pause. I did manage to film it. Here she is. <laughs> it's just the cutest. We, she loves like, I don't know how she does it. She picks up like one biscuit at a time and not the whole time, just occasionally, which is why it's been difficult to film. She has done multiple times. My happy place right now. In the evenings, we cuddle on the sofa and it is just the most precious thing. She trusts me enough to show me her belly and I feel like having a face full of cat fluff is my happy place. Also, Every single time I put a mask on my face, there is a cat hair in the mask. Every time. And it usually takes me like five minutes to, to feel the tickle and then locate the hair and then kind of go in for the kill and retrieve the final hair that's in my mask every single day. Okay, I found this meme and it's perfect. It's something like, I really need to go, but I really need to kiss my cat and Yes, accurate. <laughs> as well as being very good with her paws, she's also kind of clever. This was our first like, oh, she's been really naughty kind of incident. We'd been watching like telly in the evening and the dishwasher had been on. And she doesn't like loud noises, so she wasn't in the kitchen at all until the dishwasher had finished. And I went through to open the dishwasher, like let the steam out, and she was caught red-handed at her biscuit bag eating and she'd ripped it open with her claws. I thought that was a naughty thing and I was like, oh dear, she has savaged her cat food bag. And then I realized that she had no food bowl down and I was like, okay, actually, that was just real independent woman thinking. And I went from being like kind of angry that she'd be naughty to incredibly proud regretting the fact that she didn't have a food bowl down because it had been in the dishwasher. It had been in the dishwasher for all of one hour and 15 minutes. During that time she wasn't in the kitchen but she's used to having a food bowl down all the time and just snacking whenever she wanted so obviously she went in and there was no food and she wanted to eat so she found her biscuit bag and I mean I can't fault her logic can't get this cat in trouble for wanting some food and then neatly opening her bag of food and eating from her own food. Like, 
I can't fault it. There was a tiny, tiny bit of collateral damage. I had a bag of Bombay mix, which was right beside the cat food, and there was a few nibble marks in there. And then she must have realized like that's not what she wanted to eat. And yeah, a few nibble marks, one score, and she was in. I don't know, clever cat. I feel like she wins that one. <laughs> she is also a little bit of a commuter cat. She has been on a little road trip. She was delightful company in the car. <laughs> If I was talking, she would kind of meow in conversation, but she was so chill in the car. I've never had a cat be so happy to go on a road trip before. Yeah, so this is my office and she is a little office snuggle bug. If I am sitting working, she will be in the office with me. She can always find a sunny spot on the desk. Or as I'm working, she will curl up on my knee. She had a boyfriend visit the first day she went outside. So we kept her in for like a little while, acclimatized her, let her know her house and her, I don't know, who feeds her. And then we let her out and I kid you not, the day that we let her out, she had a boyfriend visit. I don't know, word got around the neighborhood that she had arrived and this male cat, gorgeous. She was in the house at the time and he came to visit and he, he was besotted with her. He was laying outside on the other side of the glass, like displaying his belly like 30 centimeters from the glass. He was like, oh, hello my dear. And she was not happy. She was all fluffed up and trying to defend her territory, I think. But it was, yeah, super exciting. She made her place known in the neighborhood. She loves a sun trap. I'm so delighted that she wanted to join for this video because that would have been strange doing a whole video about my cat without my cat. <laughs> She's so cute. My whole camera roll has changed to just pictures of my cat. I am that person now. She makes me so happy. I have more cat hair all over my face. <laughs> We will catch you in the next video. Um, yeah, time to go. Bye.